Fucking when I'm puffing on the potent, silent, but I stay strapped. Gave her a wood, now she talking about family tree. You know it ain't that. Ain't got time for the bad bees, dog. I got money on mine. Watch my chain too long, have me nervous. I put money on your mind. The Cali be potent, that girl is a so bogus. I can't risk my seed. My heart too low, took L's like fuck. Big slam soon free. Had to drop cause the fans they keep asking. You drop trash, had the fans all laughing. Disappeared and I re. Well, go on, well, go on, well, go on, people. We're back again. I wanna see you guys hitting that subscribe button. I wanna see you guys hitting that like button. I want to see them comments because critically acclaimed <laughs> this season I've promised a lot of new guns and here we are once again with another new bad boy the double eagle um, this one came as a request from one of the mandem and it's something that I've seen several times on the field and I've kind of every time I've seen it I've kind of been like what the hell is that and when I walk over I'm like oh it's one of those again Do you get what I'm saying and to be fair for how popular this thing is i haven't seen a lot of them on the field though I've, like i know it might sound contradicting what i'm saying but understand what i'm saying every time i have seen this on the field um i have had the same reaction first and foremost secondly there i have seen it a few times on the field however its popularity compared to how much times i have seen it on the field it doesn't kind of balance out basically so i kind of wanted to get my hands on one um big up uh ken combat store for sorting us out with this one they should they show us love and all these things on our channel so yeah so let's get into it um straight off top one thing i did like about it is for what it cost, this one is a uh, this one is a custom one. So there's a few things that they've done to this one previously before it has come to me. But straight off top, the box high quality. I'm not gonna lie. I think this model they call it the M904G. But um, for 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 us people who just like to keep it plain and simple, this is called the Double Eagle Honey Badger. Um, one thing I did like about like you know you do your little research and reviews on on these things before you get them or before you go and purchase them um one thing that did draw me to this is this is slightly cheaper than the utr um 556 but it has the same well mm, i'm not sure if it's the same exacted t system but it should like like let's say 90 to 90 80 to 90 percent it has the same um gearbox system which is it's the programmable one with the electric system um, and the responsive trigger uh, trigger in there. So for for for, for the for, for mm, I, I say a fraction for slightly cheaper, you get something that's um, lighter, um, cheaper, and roughly does the same thing as the UTR 556. So I know a lot of people who have seen my UTR, they're like, oh, what one of those and realistically why i've done this video is to kind of show you guys like there is quite a few other things on the market um that are slightly cheaper than my gun um well mm, considerably cheaper because i've done quite a few things to my gun um and offer you that same kind of um benefit and enjoyment on the field so yeah but um one thing i did like is like i always judge a company and maybe this sounds wrong but i always jump up, judge a company by their box quality because the cheaper guns you'll notice that it might look it or look like it or look like they're more expensive boxes let me put it that way um but when you touch it and feel it and you bend it you'll notice that they're flimsy ass things that's because it's rubbish cardboard this might seem so simple but these are things to look out for because these are like signs whether or not what's inside the box is going to be good one thing i would say about this i can put pressure on this box and this is only the outer shell and it's it's firm shiny nice print in quality there is english on the box yeah i'm saying because often it's just bare chinese and it's hard to understand what's going on out here so well done double eagle for thinking about us uk people i'm not saying that there isn't language changes because if you notice like on the warning section there is the different languages and stuff but um yeah like thank you for thinking about us users you've got the handle which i find very cool because what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna rent this gun to one of my boys because we're going to mayhem on sunday 
and I don't yet have a gun case to travel with this particular gun um, so it's nice when a supplier gives us this thing right here because not everybody does this I've seen a few guns where it's just literally the box shell and you've kind of got to find some way to carry it and you end up chucking it under your shoulder and doing the most whereas I love this because you can like you can literally just chuck it back in the box carry this as it is and it's quite discreet that's one thing I did say to the, the shop when I went to pick it up. They were like, are you sure you're right? And I was like, I know I'm a Black Dread guy, but don't worry. Like, if you notice, the box is very discreet. There isn't any actual gun pictures on the box itself, which I really do like. So well done again, because we are in the UK. And as much as we've got our licenses and we're legal, these little things make things nicer for us as players. Do you get what I'm saying? We can travel with ease. Like, we'll not have to worry about people watching us or police and rare, 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 rare. So boom, let's get into it. And like I said, this model is, there's a few variants because I know that there's a slightly longer barrel variant and then there's another slightly longer than that variant, which is more a longer rifle. If you guys want me to do a video on those, I'll see if I can hustle the shop into at least loaning me those so I can do that video. But without further ado, let's get into it. And y'all better love me because it is 2 a.m. and I'm, I'm actually recording this video, you know what I'm saying? But this is what we do for airsoft. We love it. So straight out of the box, you get um, it looks like your manual in a little plastic case. This stuff tends to be like generic car. You averagely get it in a plastic case. Or oh, tell a lie. Some companies don't give it to you in a plastic case. So thank you again for thinking about us users because we want to look after our booklets. Thank you very much. Might want to resell the gun in the future. Um, basic basic stuff how to use the gun how to move stuff attach the barrel even tells you how to take things down uh, oh it teaches you how to use pulling mount rail regulator certain position wrench adjusting mount regulator mount to rail okay so the one thing i do like is because my boy was asking about this i might have to just give him the booklet and say bro learn how to put your stuff together Car, uh, he, my boy basically asked me to set up his gun's grip because he that he's having some issues um oh but it now makes sense if you could put any part of the rail, you just have to somehow get that to turn if you get what I mean, the exocon screw. But yeah, one thing I do like about this, even me, I'm learning from it already. And one thing I do like is it's got that mount regulator, which I'll show you guys afterwards because most guns with the M-Lock rail don't tend to have that. Where is it? That little thing in the middle right there. I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting, but I'll show you on the gun anyway. So it's very interesting. It's a useful booklet. Then it speaks about the battery, the stock. I think over time, if I was to keep this gun, I would particularly change the stock, but we'll see. Inferior BBs, double eagle, 0.2 ones, one twos to point two zeros. Okay, fair. It's teaching you about like your mag system. I'm not even gonna lie, well done guys. I'm not even gonna lie, like I've bought quite a few guns and I remember saying Spectre Arms one was really really good um, because it, it, it just I like a booklet that can teach me something even though I'm quite an experienced player and this one I've noticed straight away off the top it's kind of caught my eyes there's a few things in there that I kind of was like oh I didn't know that or is that how that really works so well done Double Eagle booklet is a good booklet then it comes with um, this is your programming sheet which basically tells you how to set up your trigger system um, so it speaks about the three systems the first one is uh, it's got one to five shots um, which is basically like a selector function it basically is best shot basically that's the long and short of it you can set it to one shot every time you press the trigger two shots every time you press the trigger three and then that goes all the way up to five if you get what i'm saying so four or five which is pretty cool because imagine pressing your trigger and five shots let off and you've all you've done is press the trigger once or say two shots let off or three shots let off so the burst is like you know what i'm saying the the what do they call it the, the falcon um, electronic system like it is a banging thing like if you have never experienced it at least go to your local gun shop and go and test it out because i would advise it like i 
I, I was literally about to buy a Specna Arms FO3 and because I'm like most of the guns I've kind of like been around recently have this system in it it's really turning me away from buying that gun as much as I like it that that gun ticks every kind of uh, box on my list but I'm really zoning away from it just because just the ability to have this system where you can select and adjust as you please or change the sensitivity is such a blessing I'm telling you man if you haven't tried it please do try it if you even want access to guns I've got quite a few of them for sale as well give us a shout on the channel as long as you have your Yukara we can help you out um, and then obviously the second one is adjusting your trigger sensitivity so I think they've got three um different sensitivity so you've got like your standard which is like a full press all the way down then you've got your mid section which is like a half press and then you've got your featherweight which is literally a like literally a tap and a gun will fire so again a cool thing because depending on what kind of player you are or what field or say you're playing speed stuff and one thing i will say i gave the gun a test a bit earlier is like that trigger response is fucking good anyway like straight out the box you don't have to tamper with this thing as much as there's all these cool controls and stuff like don't fuck up your gun like you can leave it as it is and it's sick like i'm not gonna lie earlier i was trying to wreck my trigger technically just to see how far i could push it and it was response i didn't have any complaints if anything i'm actually considering of buying one of these just with the custom upgrades that they've done to it just because i feel like with that kind of setup you wouldn't ever really need to change the gun you just have to maintain it um so yeah and then the the third uh mode if you want to call it that is um basically binary they call it a shot for each trigger pull but it's basically binary it's like you pull it down it shoots and as you release it shoots as well so yeah that's how i've got my utr55 set up really really lovely um gameplay especially if you've got the feather trigger attached to that as well oh my gosh nightmare nightmare for the people that's playing but yeah so well done so far double eagle booklets lovely and one thing i like with them is like they write these things in a readable format like when i got my utr and even when i looked at this one um the programming sheet that i just showed you guys like it's user friendly i've bought so many guns even uk built guns and they just not user friendly like it's very user friendly um and i'm not getting paid to say none of this like trust me they just basically gave me the gun and said like please review it we've made a couple customs to it we think it's a great gun would love you to review it do you get what i'm saying so i'm not getting paid to do none of this i'm giving you real opinions um straight away it comes with like a clearing rod which is always lovely it I've noticed that most of these newer guns come with like the shorter one. I don't know if it's just me because I remember back in the day I used to buy rifles and they used to come with these long ass ones that was about this long. Do you get what I'm saying? So is it me or is the game changed or is it just because you don't need it? Because if you really realize it, like most of these guns have shorter barrels these days that can give you that same fast shot. So maybe it's something to do with that. They're saving on plastic or something. Um, you obviously get the gun in there you get a mag one thing i would say and i do actually want to talk about this and i'm going to make a big thing out of this like this is the first gun company that i've ever seen give a mid cap within the box look at this this bad boy straight out the box and the, the one thing i would say about this i'm not sure exactly how much this holds i i'm gonna have to read the box or check the instructions mm, i'm not sure the instructions is gonna have this information you know that's the one thing i would say but I reckon that this is between a 120 and a 150. It could be a 130 or a 150 or one. So, like I said, between 120 and 150. But I have bought. I used to buy these mags when I first came into airsoft. I used to buy these mags. They cost 25 pound a pop. So the fact that Double Eagle trust their rifle enough or respect their rifle enough or this particular model enough to say here's a mid cap with it not a high cap so you have to spend the day winding i really respect that and i'm not gonna lie in the hand it feels amazing like i'm actually considering taking this away from this gun and actually adding um adding this to my main loadout because it's it's amazing like it's it's it, it just looks the part it's 
beautiful it feels quality it feels i'm telling you like i'm not gonna lie to you i'm actually gonna look at if this is a double eagle mag because if this is a double eagle mag i'm gonna actually probably moving forwards buy some more of these do you gonna get what i'm saying because it, it's a good feeling mag earlier i chucked it in my utr and it just sat in it so lovely um i would like to test it in a few other weapons i expect not arms fo1 and things like that so maybe on the game day i will test it in my my brethren's guns but thank you again double eagle because i just think that's a nice touch like i feel like suppliers should more suppliers should be doing this because you have to remember you have young players who they don't always understand and they can't always multitask and wind and play the game so making mid cap essential as a starter kit i think is key yes you may sell and i think it, it would work for you guys it would you'd benefit just because though people like okay say for example you give it with the gun yeah people would then go and just buy more mid caps but because the only way to get a higher capacity within a mag would be through a high cap system that's why we would go and buy one like even myself as much as i i love a mid cap i actually have two um high cap mags in my loadout and that's my main loadout just because it makes a difference like one mag holds 600 for example and i have four mags that hold that 600 that don't even hold 600 i think they're like 130 each mag so it's just underneath 600 in four mags whereas i've got one windy mag that holds holds that whole 600 so do you see what i'm saying we would still buy them just give us the bloody mid caps people but um and i know there's other people who feel like me cause i've heard what i'm saying before from other people but um yeah well done like I, I, I boy i don't even want to sound like i'm paid to say this but it's a good mag like it genuinely feels nice in the hand and it looks pretty cool like i'm actually gonna take this mag and put it <laughs> yeah i'm actually gonna take this mag and put it with my main loadout so, yeah i like it i like it i like it i like it but um yeah i don't even know what else to say i'm just gonna put that to one side um one another thing i do like about double eagle or I think they're called Decon Airsoft or DE Airsoft, some, something like that. Um, is they always have this little accessory box that they send. Oh, ripped it. Yeah, they always have this little accessory box that they send, which I really, really find cool because they're basically giving you the essential things that you need. Like if there's a tool that your gun might need, um, if there's an Allen, well, even that, an Allen key, you'll be surprised how much companies don't give you a bloody Allen key. Um, and even just the adapter tool so that if you want to change it from Dean's um, to uh, Tamiya, that's the other connection's name. If you want to change it to Tamiya, you, you have the option. So well done again, because we need that stuff. Another thing I like about um, them is they always send this, this thing here, which often I'm trying to work out what it is fully for. Um, the red and the blue, the black thing. So boss me if anyone has that knowledge, because I'm still a tech in learning, but um, obviously I know what this is. That's another adapter tool uh, from Deans to Deans, but it's like a female um, to a male rather than a male to a female, if you get what I mean. So I know that one, but help bust me, like help me understand people. But yeah, at least they sent it. So we appreciate that. Fast actions, it's I had to do. If we unified, we overcome slavery. Many think it, I just say it, call it bravery Young, progressive and black, you know they hate to see Independent, I don't care what labels could pay a G So much leng past my lung Private company feeding us GMO foods They wanting us trapped My young boy just came home for a booting That young nigga tapped Can't be slipping when I'm puffing on a potent Silent but I stay strapped Gave her a wood, now she talking about family tree You know it ain't that Ain't got time for the bad bees, dog. I got money on mine. Watch my chain too long, have me nervous. I put money on your mind. The Cali be potent, that girl is a so bogus. I can't risk my seed. My heart too low, took L's like fuck. Big slam soon free. Had to drop cause the fans they keep asking. You drop trash, had the fans all laughing. Disappeared and I.